Hello, sports fans. I'm Matt Digby, joined by Samantha Cassano. Our college football season recaps continue with a look at the schools from the Commonwealth of Virginia, starting with Virginia Tech. And there was a lot of interest going into the season for the Hokies. First and foremost, the fact that about 12 months ago, Hokies Athletic Director Whip Babcock giving a public vote of confidence for head coach Justin Fuente that he would be back in 2021. And Justin Fuente was able to repay that right off the bat with a win over a then top 10 opponent in North Carolina. So it's always, no matter the sport, no matter the team, it's always interesting when you have that vote of confidence from your higher up, from your superior, from your boss, essentially, and you're able to deliver that kind of result, that's always got to be a satisfying feeling. Yeah, there was a lot of the on the line, and there was a lot of pressure for him. So to be able to start off the season with the dub was a huge win for them. Yeah, that momentum continued with a win over Middle Tennessee in week two, but then came a non-conference trip to West Virginia. It was a close game at the end. West Virginia did jump out to that early lead. Virginia Tech did have a chance to win that game in the final stages, but ultimately came up short. They did get a win over Richmond, but then came a very tough stretch. You had three games in October, all at Lane Stadium, but all ended up being losses. Notre Dame, Pitt, and Syracuse, especially when you look at the Notre Dame game, they had their chances to win that game. The Syracuse game you could very easily argue they should have won that game, but ultimately the breaks just went against them. Absolutely, and it's a lot of tough breaks, but also it's on the offense and the defense to step up, and that didn't necessarily happen for all of those games. The Hokies were able to get back on track after the Syracuse game with a win at Georgia Tech, but then Justin Fuente was already on thin ice considering his position at the start of the season. One could say the final straw was a 17-3 Friday night loss on the road at Boston College. That pretty much put the writing on the wall. And even though he was still in charge the following week, November 13th, for a win against Duke, that did indeed end up being his final game. Justin Puente and the Hokies parting ways after less, a little less than six full seasons together. J.C. Price came in as the interim head coach for the Miami and Virginia games. He will still be the head coach for the Pinstripe Bowl when the Hokies get ready to take on Maryland. But now Brent Pry comes in. But another team we cover from the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Bluefield University Rams. They have been very up and down ever since Dewey Lusk was hired as head coach back in 2017. And they did not have an issue with offense as far as we were concerned. They were putting, able to put up a lot of points and they were able to have success on offense. Not always success on defense, but the way they closed the season was very satisfying. Absolutely. You know, coming off four wins I believe it was and you know I think back to that homecoming game where they really put up a big show for that homecoming game. Yeah, the Rams were in a bit of a hold there, only two wins at one point in the season, but they were able to come back with five straight wins. They garnered a couple national honors, for instance, Nathan Hurstich. He had an outstanding game one week for the Rams at Mitchell Stadium. Jaquan Ebron would be the division player of the week. But how important is it to have a five-game win streak to close the regular season? Even if it doesn't result in the playoffs, it's all they could do just to get back to above 500 and solidify a, a good season to go into 2022 with some confidence. Absolutely, and for a program looking to build on that ground, that's so huge for them. And to be able to look back on next season, and they do have a lot of great players. I know we've both seen Nathan Hurstich play. He's, he's a really great player. And just continuing to build off that momentum is really important for them. 2022 may very well be a season to watch for the Bluefield University Rams, and we will look forward to another season on the gridiron at Mitchell Stadium. Well, that will do it for sports. We'll be right back.